today's video, we're going to have a little look at some features in Lion. So let's get started. First one I'm going to show you is Mission Control. So you can either open it by clicking on this Mission Control menu in the dock, or you can double tap on your mouse or trackpad. Or you can set a keyboard shortcut in the system preferences if you want it. Just access it by pressing a keyboard button. Depending on if you've got a mouse or trackpad, because if you don't have a magic mouse or trackpad, then some of these touch gestures you'll not be able to do, obviously. So you'll have to set things to keyboard shortcuts instead. Anyway, this is what you see. So you've got your desktop and your dashboard. And basically this is just a preview of whichever one you're on. Now I want to go over to here and create a new desktop and I can scroll between the two of them. So if I go from desktop one, do my two finger swipe, I can go to the next desktop. Do my swipe, go back. And then swipe to go into dashboard, sorry. And obviously it's very simple to do. Just go ahead and close that second desktop. Now I'm going to show you what mission control looks like when you've got a lot of programs open. So I'm going to go ahead and open a few programs and show you what it looks like because at the minute I haven't got any open. Let's go ahead and open Safari and the App Store and say iCal and just some ones that I like. Can open okay preview and colours and Twitter will go with that for now. Do my double tap gesture. And it looks quite nice when you've got lots of programs. You can see all of the programs you've got open nicely arranged here. And you can easily switch between them. I want to go ahead and come back to these. One thing I'm going to show you before I leave iCal is the full screen mode. And what I like about the new iCal, because it's a really nice finger gesture. But if you do a swipe as if you're scrolling through a web page, it does a really nice kind of page curl for calendar. So, yeah, that's really nice. I do like that gesture, and also it's a full screen app, but I'll show you a couple more full screen apps as well. What I mean by that is let's open up Safari because it's a nice feature in Safari. If we go ahead and click on this full screen button, that's at the top of any application up there that's compatible with full screen mode, it looks quite nice. If you wave your mouse over, you get the a bit more Safari and you also get this menu bar at the top. And when you're browsing the internet, you just quite easily do it that way. So if I head over to the Apple Store, for instance, and then I, um, I swipe back just using one finger, that moves my, that goes back a page rather than having to go up to the top and click back. I can literally just swipe back and forwards between web pages, which is quite nice. So I definitely like that feature. And because it's a class as a full screen app, if you do your double finger swipe, it'll actually bring it to your desktop so you can go between a full screen app and a desktop because a full screen app is a window in itself and if you double tap on mission control, it appears up, up at the top here rather than as an application when it's in full screen. You go ahead and close it from full screen, you can either press escape or bring your mouse over to the top, the menu bar appears and just go ahead and Click the little full screen icon, minimizes the screen back to the normal size. And while well, that's full screen mode in Safari, and then you kind of swipe. I like all these touch gestures, I even swipe back and forwards, etc. Um, a big favorite of mine in full screen is iMovie. That's because I think that it'll be really nice when you video edit it to just have an iMovie full screen rather than, you know, having it as a smaller window. I just like the idea. And you get a nice big preview window, so if I go ahead and make this full screen, I just think that's really nice. And videos. Like I say, go ahead and press escape on the keyboard is another way of getting out of full screen mode. 
And the next thing I want to show you is called launch pad. It's down here. It's only accessible if you've got a trackpad. It's accessible by your finger gesture, where I believe that you sort of do a pinch with your three fingers and your thumb, kind of pinch them together. But if you've got a magic mouse, obviously you haven't got as much area on your magic mouse, so you can't do a three finger pinch. So you can't with a magic mouse, there's no finger gesture. Although you could set a keyboard shortcut if you wanted to be able to get onto it quite easily. So this is launch pad. I really like this too, really nice way of going through all my applications and creating a folder. I've gone ahead and made a Microsoft Office folder, but if I want to create a new folder, you just drag things together. So I want to put that in. Hewlett Packard. It's pretty nice. I want to drag a couple of things together, let's say, um, something I could put in a folder. Well, just for, for video's sake, let's say I'm going to put these two things in a folder. It's, excuse me, it's called Untitled because, and if I double click it, I'll change the name, because it doesn't recognise what category those apps are in, because they're both in different categories, so it becomes an Untitled, and I'll just give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and remove those from the folder, though. I literally just drag it out of the folder and rearrange the icons the way you want to as well. So that's a really nice feature. You just have to click anywhere away from an icon to um, go back to your desktop. So I definitely like that feature launch pad. And I mean you'll also notice that the, um, the UI is ever so slightly different. For instance on Safari it just looks a lot cleaner and it's got smaller I don't know what you call those buttons up there but they're smaller and so just a lot cleaner. I like that. And for instance, Finder isn't a lot different, except it's got like an all my files, and then this is what I like about Finder. And then if you scroll down, all your images, for instance, are here. And if you click on Show All, or just click on the images, you can just swipe through all of your images on your computer. You get a nice little preview of them if you're looking for a certain image, and they're every single image on your computer. So I do like that. Click it again, and it'll actually bring up all of the images. So yeah, I like that feature about it. And I think once again, it just fine, it just looks a bit cleaner. Like the icons down here and things. Now another thing I'm going to show you is called Autosave. Now at the moment, it doesn't actually work in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office applications. I've tried it. I guess it probably will in the future. It'll probably just be maybe and Microsoft Office will release an update shortly to kind of compensate for that. But I would have thought with it being quite a big word processor program that it would have that kind of feature, but it doesn't. But the one way of testing it is using text edit, applications, and then text edit. Anyone gets text edit on their Mac. It's a basic text editing program. And it will actually bring up the options. Um, for instance, if I start to type, you've actually got to save it as a document, so I'm actually going to open a text edit document. Cancel. I'm actually going to go to open recent and just open like this one that I made yesterday. Close. Maximize. It's just like a random test, and then you go over to here, you can unlock, go over to browse all versions. And then it shows you, I haven't got many versions saved, that tells me this is the current document. That was yesterday, 1957, and it just shows me a preview, a bit like Time Machine, of all of the different versions of the document that I've had. So I'll go ahead and click Done. And close that off. That's another nice feature, there's so many of them. And also, Photo Booth. I'll go ahead and show you. Has some nice new effects which are done by facial tracking. So I go over to the um, effects and it loads. There's um, a love struck effect and a dizzy effect. And when I move my head, you'll notice the birds or hearts follow my head. Now I don't know why, but it does seem a bit laggy when I'm moving around on the preview. 
it's not moving around in real time, it's a bit kind of laggy. Anyway, I'll show you if we move on the full screen here. I'll show you how it looks different, which is nice. It has a different appearance in full screen, and you can swipe through or scroll through the different um, effects. Escape out of that. Um, so yeah, that's another nice feature. Well, you know what? That's probably all of the features I'm going to talk about in today's video. But stay tuned for more Lion videos and tutorials, and just tutorials about anything to do with Mac that will be coming very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the Tech TV channel. Comment on this video if you'd like to ask any questions or make video suggestions, and thumbs up this video. Bye for now.